Hello guys, it's Jackson here. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make quests with script. And so for this video, you're going to need the script plugin. You're going to need the citizens plugin. And I recommend SK Query. So first off, what is a quest really? So basically how I interpreted the quest is you talk to a guy and they will give you a mission or a task to do. And once you complete it, you go back to him and you can get a reward. So we have Jim here. This is wh wh who I'm going to show you how to make. And so we could talk to him, and he'll say a couple things to us, and then he will give us this quest. And all we have to do, if we mine five coal, the quest is complete, and then we could talk to him to get a reward. I'm using Minehut to show you guys how to use script, but you can use it on any server. So you want to go to your files, you want to go to your plugins folder, then script, and then the scripts, and you want to create a new file, and this could be called whatever you want, but I'm just going to be call it quest tutorial.sk. It has to have .sk at the end for it to work. So you want to create that and you want to come down here and go into it and this is where we're going to get started. First off we're going to make a command that will allow you to see what quest you have currently going on. So this will help the players if they you know log off come back on they'll actually know what they're trying to accomplish. So if you haven't seen my other tutorials, I highly recommend doing it. But this tutorial, you're going to need to know the basic functions. And also, I'm going to be using variables. Okay, so it's on the command and then trigger, which just means what the command is going to do. And this is supposed to say if. Okay, if this variable right here is equal to 3. And so this variable right here, it puts the player's name in and then dot gem. That is just the guy we're talking to. So if it equals three, that's going to be what step. Okay, it, it won't make much sense right now, but we'll set that variable uh, later on the tutorial. So we're just going to have it send a message. And so I already have one right here that I'm just going to copy and paste. And it's just a message that it will send to the player that it will tell you what the quest name is. So you whatever your quest will be called, you can change that. And then what you're going to do. And then it has this right here, which will just show how much coal the person is mine, because that's what the quest is going to be. And so we're going to go down here and add an else, because if they don't have a quest, it just won't tell them anything. So we're going to make it so it tells them that they do not have a quest started. Okay, we have that and it will send it to the player. I'm now going to define some variables. So you want to type the variables colon and then these are the variables we have percent player percent dot gem which will be what stage you were on when talking to him. So like the first stage would be the first line of text, second, second line, and then third would be when you're actually you know doing the quest. Well, actually, I said one for the first. Zero is actually the first because we have it starting at zero. And this is just how many coal. And this is a click thing, which I will discuss in a second. So now it's time to actually make the quest. So we're going to go down a few lines and on right click on entity. If name of entity is and I'm doing and 7 gem because that's the name of my NPC. You can change it to whatever your NPC is named. And then you want to go down here and do if percent player percent dot gem click is equal to false. And so what this is setting is I'm going to make it set it to true right after you click it. And then at the end set it to false again. And this will make it so when you right click the NPC it won't do two lines if you hold down your click for you know like two milliseconds so this just allows the player to not go through every single one instantly on a single click because that is really annoying and you have to like barely tap your click if you want it to work without this and so like I said we're just gonna set the variable to true right here so it doesn't run twice to true okay there we go and now we have to make the steps of the quest. 
so you're going to want to go out six spaces for each one because up here we have four so we want to do six because we want it to go after this and so if percent player percent dot gem equals zero so zero is the first one because we set it to zero up here so the first number is zero so the first time the player right clicks this it will do what we tell it to so we want it to message the player and so I already have a thing right here that I want it to message the player you could type out your own message because you know you want to be making your own quest so we have the message right here oh, that's supposed to be capital okay so basically it just sends this message to the player that's like the easiest part and then we want to set percent player percent dot gem to one so it goes it'll go to the next stage when they click it and then I'm just gonna also paste in a play sound command right here so it'll just play a sound entity villager trade is just the default villager sound so I, I recommend using that if you know just I feel like it's better to use that because it's more interactive and the player can actually hear them talking back okay so we have the first stage done already so now here's where it gets a little bit weird you're gonna have to go down and do it in reverse order so now we're going to have to we're, we are going to do the second stage above the first stage and this makes it so right here we have it setting it to one and so if we had zero up here it would set it to one then do the next one so every stage would happen at once which is not what we want so we're going to have to do it in reverse order which is a little annoying to look at but it's it functions it actually works so I feel like that is good enough so we're gonna do the exact same thing for this one right here except this time it has a new message and it'll set it to two which is actually the third stage so that one is just another talking one and then this um, the next one the the third stage is another talking one except this time it also actually starts the quest because like it, well it doesn't really start it it just changes the variable all it does is it messages him and this is where I want to start the quest so I added another message that says the quest is started and you can customize this completely it is your own thing so now that we got the talking done we got to actually make it so the quest works so on mine of coal or if percent player percent dot gem is equal to three this is what stage we have up here so it sets it to three when the quest starts so if it is like if this thing's equal to three we want to add one to the variable we set earlier in the variables that's where this variable that's where it comes into play we want to add one to gem coal so again you want to create your own variable and create more variables when you want to do more quests and so we're also going to do another on mine of coal or and if this one right here will tell the player when they finish the quest you don't need this but I recommend it because it's more intuitive and it helps the player out so if it's set equal to five it will tell them that they completed the quest and so I have actually a message copy and paste because I don't want to type it all out again but yep you can customize the message to your liking and also just plays an XP collect sound which is just kind of like the ding sound that um, a lot of servers use so now the quest actually works like you can mine the coal and you will be able to see that you've mined enough when you complete the quest so I'm back up here because I'm going to do the next stage and the next stage is actually where you're going to talk to the guy and he's going to be like oh you completed my quest and give you a reward so it's a little longer but it's still the same concept so if player percent dot gem equals three so that's if they are on this stage you know like all the others and then we want to go down here and do another one another if because we need to test if the players actually completed the quest because if they haven't then we need to tell them that they haven't completed the quest so if it's less than five 
which means they have not finished it. I'm just going to copy and paste a message right here that just says you haven't completed it and then place entity villager no, which is kind of like the her, like the, the, the angry one. And then we can just use an else right here because if it's not less than five, then it has to be over five or it has to be five or over. And so we want to set the variable to the next stage. So we set it to four because this one's three. And then we want to do the mess, do another message. So I paste another message here. This one is entity villager yes, which is like the happy trade zone. And then the it tells them that they, they did it. And so here is where you can give the player the reward. So I did a really simple reward where just give the player a, a diamond. I mean, you can put anything here. You can add coins to some variable or well, you can do whatever you want. So at this point, the quest works. It's completely functional. But one thing we're gonna do first, we're going to like add a thing for after the quest. So you can add more quests for the same person. Like that's where you do it here. But instead I'm going to make one where it just says you're done with all the quests. It's, it's just that simple because Currently, I don't want, you know, m when you try to right click the guy, it it won't do it. Like, it just won't tell you anything if you've done everything, and that's a little weird. So he's going to tell you that he's, you know, all done with your help. And then also we have to add one little bit that's, like, really important <laughs> that um, has to do with this variable right here. So, yep, it just the message tells you that he's done. Oh, forgot a little bracket right there okay we got that and then one more part you can do it wherever you really want it it's not that important I think I'm gonna put it I'll put it down here it wants to be in level with the if so like right here and we're going to wait five ticks and then set that click variable to false. And this will allow the person to click the thing again. So I'm in the game and so we're, oh, we don't need to do that. We need the script reload quest tutorial, which is what my script was called. Whatever your script was called, you can reload it. So it's six successfully reloaded. Oh yeah, I changed the command to QZ because I already had a command slash Q, so that worked. But it should work for you if you don't have slash Q. And you can set the command to whatever you want. So QZ, we don't have any quests started. That makes sense because we haven't started a quest yet. So we could talk to him. And then we gotta mine the coal. So if we let's say we mine one, we look in QZ. See, it has right here that we gotta mine them some more. Why is it doubling? Oh, I, I have another script for this. Okay, it's doing two because I have the other script. So that also adds Cole. Okay, it'll it'll work for you guys, I promise. Okay, quest complete, and we can talk to him and get a reward. So yep, it works perfectly. But I'm gonna show you guys a couple more things. So let's say you're trying to test out your command, or not command, your quest, or command actually, you could be testing. But you need to reset the variables because you need to redo the quest to test it. So I have a command here that'll reset all your stuff for like a specific quest. So I'm just going to call it reset my quest one. And I have a copy and paste right here because it's, it's a little bit. So permission op because you don't want the players to be resetting their quests and redoing them. Unless you actually want them to do that. But probably not a command. That'd be a little weird. Uh, so basically it sets all the variables to their default state so it would reset what quest you are on or it'll reset the quest that you were doing if you get what I'm saying so if you wanted to create another quest you would just basically copy and paste these variables and change it let's say we wanted to make the guy Tim so we do uh, we do Tim Tim all this stuff and we want Tim and iron 
So <laughs> you have to mine five iron and give the five iron to Tim. You would just, you know, copy all of this stuff and instead of coal you would make it iron and you can also do it so you have to be holding a specific item it, basically it all depends on this if statement right here so if it was like if player is holding 20 diorite for some reason your guy's an idiot uh, you would actually switch this to here because that's what you want let's say if player is not if, if the player is not holding 20 diorite then it'll give you this and then else the quest will be complete basically okay so you can add more quests pretty easily well i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel i'm going to be making more script tutorials hopefully so if you enjoy these uh yeah definitely make sure to subscribe turn on the bell for notifications if you want to see more and i will see you guys next time goodbye